our Cedia booth experience. Um, we're really, really excited about what we're showing. We've got some really cool new things. Um, how many of you see us as a voice control platform that are familiar with us? Yeah? Awesome. That's definitely where we started, and it's definitely still what we do, but it's one feature of what we do. If there's anything I want you guys to leave with after you experience this, it's what we are as a whole, meaning the entire control experience with Josh, voice being just one feature of what we do. So a lot of what I'm gonna do today is not really gonna be centered around voice. It's gonna be centered around the things we're doing besides voice, okay? Um, one more quick show of hands, who all's west of the Mississippi River? <laughs> Couple, awesome. I'm your guy. My name's Tyler Bogart. I'm the Western Regional Sales Manager for Josh. We've got phenomenal reps that work in all of your markets, but if there's ever anything I can do for you, help you become successful. If you're not a dealer right now and you want to learn more about it, let's have a conversation. We'd love to let you guys know what we're up to and have some wins together. So without further ado, I'm going to start. Um, the Wi-Fi has been just a little wonky, so bear with me if anything happens, but it's been pretty consistent the last few times, so fingers crossed. Okay, Josh, start the demo. Welcome to the Josh AI demo experience. To kick things off, let's transform the lighting, open all the shades, and set the mood. It's a lot of fun trying to demo voice next to Wisdom. Those guys are awesome, aren't they? We're gonna see if we can compete with them, but gotta be really careful on the voice side of things. All right, so we're gonna talk about a lot of different environment changes. We've grown beyond hanging TVs and installing speakers. We're now creating experiences and creating environments for our customers. It goes beyond one piece of technology in the space. You have to be thinking about lighting, you have to be thinking about shade, you have to be thinking about AV, you have to be thinking about climate, all of those things. And we firmly believe at Josh that we are the most flexible way for your clients to interact with it, the most user-friendly way for your clients to interact with their technology, the fastest, and most reliable and easiest to support way for you as dealers to create those environments. And I'll show you what I mean with some of that today. Um, to give you some context on what's in this room, this is a Josh native controlled room. We have no control system in here. We've got Lutron lighting control. We've got um, Ketra fixtures, Lutron shades, a Sony TV. We've got some sources that I'll talk about in a little bit because one of the sources that we're going to be controlling is one that's been asked for for a very long time. So those of you that are with us will be very excited about that. Um, but I want to focus on how quickly and easy it is for us to dynamically change the environment whenever you're leveraging Josh as your control platform and as your user experience. Let's talk about our UI a little bit. All right. When you load into the Josh UI, you're immediately greeted by what's going on in the home. I can see all the devices that Josh sees as currently active in one way or another. I can customize my picture as well behind the, uh, the, the thing there so that it matches the vibe of what I'm going for. I can give it a name. My house is yellow in North Texas. It's called the Hilltop Hive because we're on Hilltop and my wife loves bees and we live in a yellow house. So you can be as fun as you want with our system, right? If I tap any of those bubbles, let's start with lights. It's gonna show me what devices are being controlled and what are currently on. You can see all of my bulbs here have kind of an orange hue. That's because we match the color temperature that we see or the color of the light. So let's play with our floor lamp a little bit. I'm just gonna tap it. If I wanna make it dimmer, I can make it a little dimmer, right? If I wanna go the color spectrum, I can go all the way over here, bring it up. Now we got this cool color going. We see the full color spectrum of Ketra. There's like 400 some odd different colors that you can get throughout Ketra with Josh Voice. We also see it all with our sliders. We also span the full color temperature spectrum. So whether you're at the very, very low end of the color temperature for the scene you're creating or the high end, we can control all of that. And what's great about that too is our UI tracks that. So now we see we got a nice little red color going on in our top corner floor lamp, right? Shades is very similar. I can just open and close really quickly here, but if I just go into this app, maybe I want to change it to about 59%, we're going to see 59% happen on that shade there, right? I'm going to reopen it here. Most of this is not going to blow you guys' mind. You're probably going great. Another control system. They're controlling shades. That's what everyone does. What's so unique? I want to give you some differentiators, but I want to start by just showing you how simple this is, and that's what I'm really going through right now. Let's talk about music. Everyone in here probably likes music. But before I get into music, again, Josh standalone, and these are all of the devices that we control in here. Obviously, there's no fireplace, but we've got a little relay somewhere that allows us to do that. So you can build a really powerful system with Josh as your control platform. If you don't need that additional layer of control in your project, don't do it. Use Josh. We talk natively to these things. It's fantastic. Right? Let's talk about music. Our music UI is really slick. Anybody here sell Sonos? Okay. Anybody here sell Autonomic? No? All right. You should look at Autonomic if you're not. They're a great partner of ours. Whether you're selling Sonos on the you know, entry level price point um, or whether you're selling Autonomic on the higher level price point, they're both fantastic partners of ours. We do a full two-way integration to Spotify, Apple Music, 
uh, Tidal, Sirius XM, you name it. If you're working with either one of those control platform or any of those uh, streaming platform partners, you're going to get a full integration to it. It is not Spotify Connect. I can search by artist, by album, by genre, all within Spotify. It's a true integration. So let's just play something by Rush. Probably got some Rush fans in here. Hard not to like it. It's always fun what song comes up, right? Really cool music UI. It's going to show a little record there. It's going to show the timestamp, all that good stuff, right? I can play, pause. I can adjust my volume, right? Doesn't sound quite as good as Wisdom, but I think we're close. Um, anybody work with Rune here? Familiar with Rune? Awesome. Why do people love Rune? Because they can get all of the details on the songs that they're listening to. With Josh GPT, which is something exciting we rolled out earlier this year, we decided to up our music UI game with it. Anytime you see that little glowy bulb down there at the bottom, that's a GPT logo. So we're going to hit that logo. It's going to give me a quick command for Josh to go query the internet, give me all the detail that he can find in a matter of seconds. Again, our Wi-Fi is just a little slow. It doesn't stop right there. I promise it gets better. Um, it's going to give me tons and tons of information about this. So if you're a music nerd like I am, you don't only like to listen to it, but you like to understand the why behind all of the music, you've got that here with Josh, right? Really cool feature. Let's talk a little bit about scenes. I want to show you guys some cool scenes, right? Again, everyone does scenes. There's nothing special about the ability to do scenes, but the way that we do scenes is where we start getting into that flexibility, that dynamic, and, and how easy it is for your customers to make their space adapt, right? So we're just gonna start by actually building a scene right here from the Josh app. We've got all these custom name, or uh, custom name you can put in, but we've got all these pre-populated right here. So we're just gonna call it movie time, create the scene. I can pick a picture if I want. I'm gonna use the stock photo. Now we need to tell the scene what to do. We can go action by action, device by device, but I like to have a little bit more fun with the advanced editor, so let's have some fun here. Our entire programming model is built on natural language, so that's how you handle scenes as well, and that's how your customers handle scenes. If you can give it in a voice command, you can build a scene around it. What do I mean by that? Let's make this scene turn off the lights. Right? Let's make this scene lower the shades. All right. Let's make this scene turn off the music, because we got music playing. Let's make this scene uh, play an announcement, right? I'm just going to run this real quick. Enjoy your movie. Right. And then I want to watch Dune. So let's watch Dune. All right, we're going to save. So I can trigger the scene by hitting run scene, obvious. I can tell Josh it's movie time, but what one thing you, that you guys are currently with us, you may not know that we do if you haven't leveraged this before, it's personally my favorite feature. The power of Josh plus Lutron is we have automated triggers. I'm gonna hit my automated triggers. I'm gonna go to device state. I'm gonna go to my keypads. I'm gonna go to my entrance keypad, which is right behind you guys over there. And I'm gonna see all the buttons that I've programmed, right? Let's save entertain as a trigger. All right, I need a volunteer to hit entertain on the keypad over there. Please do. Thank you. Announcement was a little quiet, but you guys probably heard it, right? Now we're watching Dune. How cool was that? How long would that take you guys in any other control platform to do something like that? How long would it take your customer to do something like that? Was this easy enough for most customers to do? Was it easy enough for you guys to do? This is our MO, right? The most flexible way for your customers to interact with their technology, the fastest way for you guys to deploy it. If you have those customers that say, I don't care about any of this, I want you to do it for me, this is easy to do remotely. Our tool portal, for those of you that are with us probably understand this, there is no easier tool to manage a system remotely than using the Josh portal. It's very fast and all this happens in real time, right? Maybe you build out a baseline and you just want your customer to make some basic changes, right? I tend to spill beers whenever I have too many of them. So instead of turning off the lights, maybe I want them to go to 20%, right? Set the lights to 20%. And uh, maybe I get tired of Josh announcing every time we want to watch a movie. I'm going to remove the announcement. So there we go. All right, do me a favor, hit entertain one more time for me. The announcement didn't play. We reran the script, we adjusted the lights to 20%. This is insanely flexible, very, very easy to do, obviously, as I'm telling you guys. So this is the stuff that excited me the most about Josh. When I was an integrator, I had more and more customers saying, I want the keys, 
a little bit. I want you to here to help me whenever I break something, but I want the keys. The other side to this is we store backups in the cloud. So if your customer ever does call you and say, I took it too far, come fix it for me, you don't have to roll a truck. You go into portal, you restore a backup, we store them for 30 days. You can store them indefinitely if you want to, um, and it goes right back to where it was before they made their mistake. So we protect you guys from that going too far as well. Right? Couple more things I want to show you and then we'll be done, I promise. I know it's getting a little warm. So let's talk a little bit about video, right? Video control. We've got Kaleidoscape going right here. I'm going to set this down. If you guys have not played with the Josh remote yet, please get your hands on one. I get it. It's a full touchscreen remote. Some people don't like full touchscreen remotes. This is a full touchscreen remote that works really, really well, actually, right? Um, so here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to actually change our input real quick to something that's a new integration that we support natively. What does this look like to you guys that have been with us for a while? Is that Apple TV? Yeah? Apple TV is now a native IP device within Josh. So for those of you that have been asking us for it, it's probably our number one requested integration. We have it built. We're announcing it today. It'll be live, I believe, next week. So now it's a native device within Josh. You don't have to do another control system to control Apple TV. The other thing that I'll tell you about this Josh remote is I'm going to navigate wherever I want to go to this Apple TV without even looking at it. So even though it's full touchscreen, it feels like I'm pushing a button every time I swipe, right? I want to go over to Disney Plus and I want to launch right into Disney Plus and it's ready to go. So please play with this remote. Get your hands on it before you judge it for being a full touchscreen. It's a fantastic remote and we're really excited about it. The last little bits of pieces I want to share with you guys. This is where it gets really cool. Let me reset the room here real fast so we can see a little bit better. All right, I usually do this with two hands. I'm going to try it with one hand. This is a brand new piece of hardware, brand new product. We decided we did not want to be a manufacturer that talked about new hardware until it was ready to ship. So you can literally walk out of the show floor with this today. If you're a dealer and you guys want one for your home or you have a fit for it with your projects, you can walk out with this today. We call this the Josh One. It's our first product that has nothing to do with voice. By default, it is control only. It does every single thing I've showed you guys today, except for that first voice command I gave. Everything I've done since then, every environment change, every scene run, every edit, it does it. The retail price point of this is $599. 599 what other control platform out there gives you that for $599? The other beautiful thing about it is if any of you that have deployed Josh before know how easy and fast it is to come together, it's just as fast and easy to deploy as any of our other projects are. So this is great. This is great if you're doing work in production, if you're doing work in kind of mid-market, right? Smaller systems that can control up to 100 devices. If you're doing NDU projects, if you're looking for projects you can wash, rinse, and repeat, want to create a great experience for those people that have those smaller homes or those smaller condos, this is a great solution for you guys. Um, it has the ability to add voice into it with the app. We'll go over all the pricing and how the licensing works with it out there. We drastically changed the way we do licensing. There's no more room limits. It's, it's not anything like that anymore. It's all based on device counts now and your system size. So come talk to our sales team out here. We've got some pricing stuff going on. We can tell you what the new licensing model looks like. Quick question. Those of you that saw Josh as just a voice control platform, did I do my job and show you that we're more than just voice? Awesome. Thank you guys for joining us very much. We appreciate your time. Appreciate you hanging out with the heat. I'm going to give a command of, hey, Tyler, make it cooler in here.